Hello, hello, this is Kara, and I've been working on my steampunk journal, and I'm just getting overwhelmed. I started making backgrounds and different things, maybe for tags, and inking them, and getting messy, as you can tell. Um, I've also made the scraps, I've made some master boards, um, yeah. I've just been uh, pulling things out and getting more and more overwhelmed as to what I want to make. And then <laughs> I re remembered that I have some pre-made things that need some decoration that could go in a steampunk journal. Um, yeah, it's so funny. Usually I have like a, a plan. I'm like, all right, I'm going to do this and this, but uh, I'm overwhelmed. Let me show you what I've made. And I've cut all of the pieces from my Rainbow Steampunk. I've inked them. <laughs> it was all ready to go. I made some backgrounds. I embossed this with the Tim Holtz embossing and then I did inking. This one I embossed and just added some black soot uh, distress crayon. This one I think turned out pretty cool. So yeah, so I've spent the last couple days making these getting inky, making a mess, and then feeling like, I really like that one too. That one I grunged up a little bit, and this one. Feeling overwhelmed and not knowing what to do with all the stuff that I have. These I made when I made the Cory Dahman um, idea book. These I cut out from Elizabeth Craft Designs. These I've had in my stash forever made these bases forever ago. Um, made this a long time ago. Don't even know when I made this. So yeah, I made all these pieces, these pieces at some point, and then these are needing to be finished. And then at some point I die cut these out. Anyway, I have a ton of things that I thought, okay, well maybe if I pull out some half done items, it will give me an idea of where I want to go. So there's that. Um, and then another idea. Oh yeah, and I added some distress ink to this in rainbow colors. I've just made a mess. All right, so then the first thing that I just rambling. <laughs> oh, and look over here at my messy desk. I, oops. Have this file folder that I made. I think that turned out pretty cute. Really like that little envelope and that journaling card. So I've been just messing and uh, no direction. So one, <laughs> watch this video be one pocket. We'll get one pocket done. One thing I did want to do or thought of is adding a pocket somewhere in the orange section with this, um, uh, what is it, <laughs> with this piece right here. So let's, I guess, let's do that and then we can decide where to go. I'm going to cut this in half. And I think I'm going to put that like this. I want it like that. I think I want it like this. And then you could embellish this with some things. I have too many things on my desk. Oh, and I've um, die cut a ton of gears keys, locks, bits and pieces, butterflies, you name it. It's, I've been busy die cutting. And then I cut these butterflies out of the embossed. I think that looks really cool. All right, so what to put on this? Mm -hmm. See, now I need to figure out what to put on there. <laughs> I just, I just don't, I don't know. I'll be back. Okay. I 
am back. Took some time. <laughs> Did other things. Still not sure. Um. this up. It says building trades on the side. Yeah, I'm just gonna simply layer that on there. I need to put this on. Like that. And I'm just gonna staple those together. These are um, 49 and market. Like that. And then let's glue that on. And then we're going to put this. Put it right here. So glue that in. <laughs> okay. So there's that glued on and I have this butterfly. I think I'm going to turn this into a pocket. My glue is overflowing. I'll just do that. in half. And have this like that. I don't want that part to be glued so I want to have a little tuck spot back there. Like that. And let's see. Just go ahead and do this side. have that and it will go somewhere in our signature. Like that. So we can add something here. I'm just not sure what. So I'm gonna put that back. The the one with the Tim Holtz die with the clock has these numbers and then this is a new Elizabeth Craft uh, die and they also have oh my gosh little reinforcers if I could get this open and 
like it like a lot. Itty bitty. Okay, I'm gonna grunge up the numbers a little bit with some ground espresso. Just stress crayon and just kind of spray on that a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> and this we can add to ephemera. I'll probably get something to tie around there. Uh, but for now, I think we'll just leave that. Thanks for uh, joining me with this video today with my <laughs> lost mojo. It wasn't really lost. It was non-directed I guess <laughs> I'm not sure how you put it uh, I do have a couple more videos that I've recorded making more ephemera and continuing on my steampunk journal so I hope you join me and I hope you have a wonderfully crafty day thanks bye